Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, worship team. You can take a break. Hallelujah. Welcome to New Life Fellowship, my brothers and sisters. For you are here for the first time. Maybe you not know my name. My name is Mara. Actually, I'm not uh, uh, a foreigner, you, as you see here. I am Cambodian. I raise here, you know, live here. And I'm, I'm a son of the house, this house. I am so blessed that I got saved at this church 26 years ago. Somebody loves us enough that come to Cambodia and plan a church. It's not a religious place. It's the place that bring positive influence in the society of Cambodia. For this week, as you may have heard before, this week we call a Vision Sunday. We are sharing vision for this 2021. This year, you might feel relaxed a little bit. You know, it's not like 2020. Cambodian said, mapay, mapay. It's a year of fear. Everyone afraid. So COVID here, COVID there. It's like, it's scary. It's really hard to do many things. But 2020 is gone. Now. It's 2021. The scientists found their vaccine, and the vaccine on the way. But I trust in the vaccine of heaven. Do you all agree? We trust in the vaccine of heaven. The minute we learn COVID-19 coming, we bow down before God. God, no, not Cambodian. Not Cambodia, in Cambodia. We don't want that here, as you heard. Not, not even one church member contagious with COVID-19. Can you give glory to God? None of us, none of the people die of COVID-19 in Cambodia. Right? None of the Cambodian people. None of the people live in Cambodia have died the COVID-19. We can give glory to God as well for that. Amen? Amen? For our God is a good God. He loves us. He loves Cambodian people. You might, might say, what about other countries? I don't know because I'm not God. I live in Cambodia. I pray for Cambodia. I pray for other countries as well. Everyone pray for Cambodia. Pray for other countries as well. But here so far is safe. I believe that the presence of the Lord, God is here. It's dwelling in this country. This country has a special place in his heart as well. I believe that. So before we go into the vision Sunday, i like to go back to the vision of New Life Fellowship. Vision of New Life Fellowship, I think it's a vision that comes from God. Uh, it's coming soon. The vision, there you go. Can you read with me? One, two, three. To plan a large New Testament church in Phnom Penh, which will have a positive influence on, to, on every sector of Cambodian society. Okay, business, sports, and entertainment, and uh, communications, and uh, we'll be a model. Actually, you have more. You know, we we missed some part in there. <laughs> we, we we missed some part in there. I'm sorry. You know, or you know, I have a lot more in that. And we'll be a model and resource center for planting. Churches, not plant a church here, planting churches in every province of Cambodia with the same philosophy and foundation. One more. 
and to send Cambodians as missionaries to other countries. This is the vision of New Life Fellowship. Go back to the, the first slide, the second slide actually. Is to plan, oh, go back to plan, to plan a large New Testament church. The large New Testament church, it doesn't mean let's plan the biggest church ever in Phnom Penh and in Cambodia so that our name will be great. New life will be great. No. That's not the goal. That's not the purpose of New Life Fellowship. We plan a, new, a large New Testament church. This church is the Jesus church. It's the church that brings a positive influence. Meaning large, meaning more people, more and more people getting to know Jesus. More and more people getting to have relationship with Jesus. More and more people getting to benefit from Jesus. Loved by Jesus. This is the goal. When you are loved, when you benefit from Jesus, life will be transformed. Life will be changed. This church had planted in, uh, go back to the picture, uh, go to the picture. This church planted in 1994. Actually, you know, that, that's a picture that he goes to Indonesia. Mr. Eric and Jenny Dooley, they, you know, their goal is not plant churches. Their goal, actually, Eric, his goal was to study to be a doctor. <laughs> study to be a doctor. But God had another plan for him. And he dropped that plan. He came to Asia and he planted a church in Indonesia. Actually, that one may be in 80 some or 90. I don't remember exactly. You know, but uh, here, over here in Cambodia, that same man and woman you know, come to Cambodia in 1994 with a group of Singaporean pastors for the goal of planning Jesus Church in Cambodia. And go to the next uh, picture. You see some people in there you might recognize. Yeah? <laughs> uh, the McCall's family moved to Cambodia in 1995. Actually, at that time, in 1995, Pastor Chuck came to Cambodia twice, right? In 1995. I remember the first time he came with a guitar, with uh, Pastor Brad, and playing, you know, guitar. And later on, he came with his family. You, you, uh, so, uh, Pastor Chuck, Pastor Cindy over here, and... Uh, Recognize anyone in there as well? Jason over there, Pastor Jason. <laughs> Pastor Jason. And uh, Lucru Jesse, uh, Jesse over there, and Matthew and Kaylin. Micah is by the door. <laughs> Micah by the door. So they are the second team that have planned churches, church here. And they didn't just come here, they stay here until today. And then. In 1997, our church grew, my brothers, brothers and sisters. That one, I think, is a second Olympic house. Second Olympic house. Huh? Is it? Yeah? First Olympic house. Then it's 1996. Yes. 1996. Because, you know, we got some people in there. I was there with the Nike thing in there, <laughs> single, and uh, yeah. yeah, I was confused in 1996, and at the villa, and in 1999, we take the church plan, the first church plan to Kampung Tom. I spent like a couple of days to look for the picture that I had, but I can't find it, you know. It's some place that the first team that goes to Kampung Tom and plant a church in 1999. It was 
Actually, are we married yet at that time, honey? Are we married yet? Not yet, right? <laughs> Actually, 99, we're not married. <laughs> We married in 2001, actually. Yeah, we got married in 2001. <laughs> yeah, is that fun? Yeah. So that we saw that guy, King and Jake, uh, Jake Sopa, her husband is one of the elders uh, at uh, New Life Fellowship. And she's looking after her kid, you know, still love the Lord. And Malaya over there with a baby, she adopted a baby, Cambodian baby, and now they live in New York and they still uh, love the Lord. And this gentleman over there, I don't remember where he went, I lost his uh, contact. I try to keep contact, to keep relationship with these people. So until now, now new life, go to the next slide, please. Now, New Life Fellowship in 2020 have planned churches in 15 provinces of Cambodia. Can you give glory to God? 15 provinces. I first planned a church here. And this church starting to have influence in people's lives. And this influence start to go over the border, over the wall, over the city, go to the provinces. Our goal is to plan churches throughout the nation of Cambodia. We don't want to go to this village. There's no church, no. We want to see all the villages in Cambodia have church, either New Life Fellowship or some other churches. We also, we not just work within our group only. We work with other groups as well. The group of other churches, we want to work together because we alone cannot reach Cambodia. Go to the next slide. The next slide. Okay. These are some activities that we have at different locations, different places that we have. And uh, there are training is going on every week, every month, every year, because we need more people that buy in to the vision that God has given to us. More and more people buy into the vision of God, and more and more bring in a positive influence in the society of Cambodia. Could you play this uh, video clip for us? Sorry, it's in Khmer, but I can explain to you la later. ตะลือเวกบนดอกบรรดาครูกุมเวียนในดำกรมจนมបាទក្រុមជំនុំជីវិតថ្មីគឺសាជីវិតថ្មីយើងបានបញ្ជូនខ្ញុំមកដាំក្រុមជំនុំទីនេះនៅឆ្នាំ <coughs> 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 ไอ้สอบให้เนี่ยกูดําบ้านประมาณ <coughs> 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 
ពីកិច្ចការដែលមានក្នុងក្រុមជំនុំជីវិតថ្មីភូមិកញ្ញូរនេះហើយបន្តអធិស្ថានសម្រាប់ក្រុមជំនុំជីវិតថ្មីគេ
verse 16, uh, 17 to 19. Jesus asked all the people, Who do you say I am? Some people say the prophet. Some people say Elijah. Some people say this. Some people say that. But Peter said, You are the Messiah. You are the Son of God. And Jesus replied to him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonas. Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonas. For this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood. Blessed to those who receive a revelation of who God is. Nobody knows who Jesus is. Even though they see Jesus perform signs and wonders with their own eyes. They still say this. They still say that. But Peter said, You are the Messiah. You are the Son of God. That's why Jesus said, It's not flesh and blood that show you this, but by my Father in heaven. The Father in heaven reveal Himself to all of us. Reveal who Jesus is to all of us. Reveal who, your, who yourself is to all of us. And then he said in heaven, um, um, heaven, and I tell you, I tell you, Peter, that you are Peter. And on this rock, Peter, I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. Jesus said, he will build his church. New Life Fellowship, even though we have a name, but it's Jesus' church. It's not our church. The church of our Father. He's the Father. We are the sons and daughters of the Lord. He said, He will build His church. I will be my church. And the gates of hell, the gate of Hades, will not overcome it. The gate, the gate is to open and to close. You know, sometimes sinners, not sometimes, sinners, they go directly to hell. But Jesus tells us, upon this rock, upon this rock, I will build my church, and all of my church will stop people from going to hell, from going to Hades. The Hades. The power of Hades, the power of hell cannot overcome this church. As you experience it, after you give your life to Jesus, sin, you still have some sin, but sometimes sin cannot overcome you because you have Jesus. If you allow Jesus to have influence over you, the power of Jesus to have influence over you, even though sin is right, in front of you, you might not give your life to this sin. You will always overcome this sin. Because Jesus said he will build his church and the gate of Hades will not overcome it. 19, I will give you the keys. I will give you the keys. Jesus gave us the key. He gave the keys to who? He gives the key to you, to you, to you, to you, to you. He gives the keys to you. He gives the key to Necruzon. That key is to lock, is to unlock people in her community. People in her community have no more chance to go to Hades. Go to hell because she has the key. She lock it up. You cannot go there, but you go this way. Instead, that door is closed now. You go this door, this way is better. Therefore, so many people follow that way. They experience it. We got the key. You got the key. The key from God is in your hand, is in your heart, is in your head as well. You got the key. I got the key. Nick Cruzon got the key of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever, you see, the key of the kingdom of heaven, whatever, whatever, anything and everything, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. My brothers and sisters, you have the right 
after you have this key, you can lock, you can unlock anything. When you see people in bondage of the evil one, you can lock, stop them from going forward to destroy themselves. But open the other door for them to go through, which is the door of God, the door of love, the door that have relationship with God. You can bind, you can loose bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth, we be loosened, loosened in heaven. You got the right, my brothers and sisters. You have the right to open and close this year, 2021. I want to tell you one more time that you got the key. Key have been given to us, all of us, even though the non-believers, they recognize it because we got the key. As you know, one of the tycoon in Cambodia, they give us, you put the picture as well, they give us a piece of land. This piece of land costs so much money, but it's not difficult for God. It's easy for God because God is the God that build his church. You want to build God's church with him? You all want to build God's church with him? Let's do it. Let's do it this year. You could do it. You have the right to lock and unlock this year. Whatever you lock on earth, it will be locked in heaven. Whatever you unlock on earth, it will be unlocked in heaven. It's in your hand. You could do it this year. We want to encourage our church member to go to the provinces. We got so many places. New Life Fellowship so far. From 1994 until 2021, we have planned 311 churches. We bring positive influence in the society of Cambodia. Like what I said, even the non-believers. They can give us a piece of land. He sees it. They think, you know, this piece of land costs so much money. He don't want to throw this money to waste. He sees there's something happening here. And New Life Fellowship. Something special is going on here. That land now, I think it costs around maybe $10 million. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. This man, he's not a believer. He just give it to us. We will build new life fellowship over there. Now we are in the backfield, raise the dirt higher, and later on we're gonna build the church over there. And this year, we want you to experience going to the provinces and bring your gift, the gift they have given to you. You might not know. Because you only, you know, sometimes work is so busy when you set aside, when you go to the mission field, you start to realize, that, oh, look at that. I just pray for people. They were sick, now they heal. Oh, I don't know how to talk about Mike. Now I can talk. I can help people. I can counsel people. You got gifts, my brothers and sisters. You got gifts. It's a gift from heaven. It's a gift from God. And this gift comes with keys. Keys in your hand. You can lock and you can unlock. Could you stand up? This year, our team want to work together with you. Set aside some time and go out to the provincial churches. This one day, uh, I took uh, Mr. Jim, go, you know, along with me to where to come from Tom, to see him rip, to uh, uh, Boy Pine, to uh, Dom and Jay, to Badamong, and uh, come back to Phnom Penh. It's a long trip, right? <laughs> Get to see churches that was planted. I was excited to see that. But this year, you can work with us, my brothers and sisters. Again, you got the keys, and you got the anointing. 
you got the gift. Allow me to pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Father in heaven, these are your sons and your daughters. They, got, they either live here in Phnom Penh or they live somewhere else on this earth. They got your word say, you will give them the keys of heaven. Lord God, they can go in and lock things and unlock things, Lord God. Lord God, anoint them. Anoint my brothers and sisters this year, Lord God. Lord God, as they prepare, they're getting ready for this year, Lord God. Give them the minds of Christ so that they can see what to lock in, what to unlock, Lord God. They can see what to bind, what to lose, Father either in their own personal life, either in their own businesses, in their own uh, circle of relationship, in whatever, Lord God, give them the mind of Christ. Give them your wisdom, Lord God. Lord God, I believe that you are the God that answers prayers, Lord. You answer this prayer, Lord God. Anoint them, Lord God, with a great anointing, Lord God. Lord God, let nobody be, be perished this year. But everyone will bring the message of love. We'll bring the message from heaven to transform the lives around them. My Father, Lord God. And bless them whatever they need in life, Lord God. Lord God, I lift my brothers and sisters here. And lift their families. And lift their vision. And lift their dreams into your hands. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. If you want to give, you know, the boxes here, you can uh, put the, drop your uh, offering in there, you know, otherwise, you know, we see you again. God bless you. You have a wonderful week. See you later. Bye bye.